Uh, welcome back to class week two, day one. And I am off screen. There we go. There's me. You just that. No, yeah, but the camera is just wide angle, me all over. So, do you guys have any questions? Or that. That works. Do you have any questions from last week? No? We're good? So we looked at, uh, we went through the presentations. We got through 03, Hello World, and uh, we looked at the difference between these things here. So um, what, what, uh, what about package main? What's that? Tell me about package main. Starting point of the program. Entry point for your program. And every file in Go needs to uh, have, the same name as its folder. have the same name as its folder, except for package main, right? Sorry, every file in Go needs to have package name on line one. So let me just bring up some code. So every file in Go needs to have on line one package, a package of some sort. And if it's the main package, that doesn't need to match the folder name, right? But if it was, uh, let me just look here and see a library package. So here we have string util. For all of these four right here, what is the first line on each of those files going to say? Package string util. Package string util, right? Because that first thing is, OK, what package do I belong to? And I could create as many files as I want in here under string util and just put package string util at the top. Because that's not an executable. It's just a library or a package, right? The package matches the folder. And then this, these are all, this is all code in that package. And then here for the executable, right, this hello, let me just get rid of that. Hello says package main. It doesn't have to match the folder name. So package main, that's the entry point for your program. And then we uh, have, on package main, it needs to have func main. And uh, that's the first, that's the entry point for your program, func main, when you're creating an executable. So packages are also called libraries. And then we looked at uh, functions and what makes functions accessible outside of a package and it's whether or not you capitalize it. And we looked at parameters versus arguments. So it, is this uh, taking no parameters or no arguments right there? Well, let me say it another way. Is that declared with no which? That's declared with no which, parameters or arguments? Parameters. So declared with no parameters. Okay? And then arguments are what you pass in. So let's just make sure I'm not wrong. <laughs> and uh, that is right here. Parameters a variable which is part of the func's signature, the func declaration. So func main right here takes no, you know, is declared with no parameters. Right? And then print line here is taking the argument, hello world. And it would be declared with the parameter of string, type string. Right? Give me a string. And then we have uh, expressions versus statements. So which ones occur horizontally? Expressions or statements? Statements. Well, statements too, but we, we looked at this one definition of expressions and statements, and I, uh, I liked it. And it said basically, a statement's a complete line of code that performs some action, and uh, an expression is a section of code that evaluates to value. Expressions are combined horizontally, right, into larger expressions using operators, while statements can only be kind, combined vertically. So when we look at a chunk of code, um, you know, so let me just... Right here, we have some statements occurring vertically. We got a statement on seven. We got a statement on six. Statement, statement, right? Statement, and then there's some expressions. You know, like here's an expression. You know, so statements are occurring vertically, right? And uh, expressions are occurring horizontally, making up statements. Right? State statements are made up of expressions. 93% certainty on that one. Statements are made up of expressions. 
So, and uh, we looked at literals, right? Just a literal value, like, hey, it's the number five, or hey, it's a string. And we looked at command click to take you to source code. So if I'm in, in something and I want to like, hey, what's print line do? I hold down command in WebStorm and click print line and it takes me right to the source code and I can read the description and see the people who created Go, how they actually wrote the code, right? Awesome. And uh, if I want to see the format package, command click that and it drops me into where that's located and I can explore it. And all that is in our Go library on our computer, right? All that's in your Go library on your computer. Yeah, the, the SDK. We don't have to be hooked up online. Yeah. It's not going online. It's just getting it right out of our, mm -hmm. our Go folder. Absolutely. So who could describe the difference between Go Run, Go Build, and Go Install? What do they do? I think that was one of your little questions here just to help you learn it. And these are for your benefit, not because I'm some, you know, God help an individual who wants to read student papers describing this stuff. <laughs> right? Like, I put this together just to help you, like, okay, crap, i got to go through the rigmarole of work, and, and in the process you're going to learn it. So, uh, you know, go run, uh, and then go build, and go install, right? What are they, what are they, what's the difference between go run, go build, go install? Yeah, 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 good. So go run will run an executable, and when I do go run, it's going to take that executable and put it into the bin folder in my workspace. So it installs it and then runs it. So go run installs and then runs. And then go install and go build, it, what they do depends upon where you run them. So if you run go build on a package, right, it will build it, and then if there are errors, it'll, it'll tell you, and then it just throws away the binary. It just built it, that's it. If I ran go install on a package, it'll build it and then put the binary into the package folder in the workspace, okay? Package folder in the workspace, and it'll be like a .a file. So if I went and I looked at the workspace, go package, GitHub goes to 11. Going training. There's my string util A. When I went ran go install on that package, string util package, it created this little thing, and that's just, I think, I don't know. I don't know what the heck an A file is, but I'm thinking that's the binary for a package, right? So go build on a package, builds it, tells you if there's errors, throws away the binary, go install, builds it, puts the binary here, and then, you know, and it'll also tell you if there are errors. And then finally, if we run go build on, uh, on an executable, it'll drop that code right in the folder where it ran, right, on the executable. And that's go build. And if we run go install on an executable, it puts that executable into your which folder? Into your bin. Yeah, your source and then your bin. Oh, sorry, not your source, your bin, just straight up your bin in your workspace. So just some nuances of, of those things. A little bit of a review. How are you all doing with what we've done so far? Let me just see a show of hands. Like how many people got it up and running on your computer at home? You got Go version to work. You got your path variable set. That's awesome. That's really great. So that's a really big deal. Anybody have any questions about all of that? Are you guys ready to get going? Get going. Are you ready to go get? <laughs> all right, let's go get. <laughs>